RisaFloor utilizes a comprehensive set of modeling tools for the simple creation of multi-story buildings. In this video, we'll take a look at the new editing features for the wall panel opening editor. So here I have an existing wood apartment building model already framed and looking now in my full model view. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my second floor plan. And then we're going to zoom in here to my interior corridor. So I want to add in some doors and some window openings along this corridor. So to open the wall panel editor, I'm going to double click the wall here. And I'm going to go ahead and delete the existing wall regions I have. And we'll click our wall opening tool like we normally do. But the first thing you see here is now I have these annotative dimensions that populate as I'm drawing my opening, which is really great to see the exact size that I'm populating these openings for instead of just using my grid lines. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my door and my two windows as well. Now that I have these openings drawn, you can see here on the right hand side, a opening spreadsheet has been populated. Just like all of our other spreadsheet tools, I can click enter at the end of the spreadsheet and that'll add a new line with this new opening. So here in the spreadsheet, I can go ahead and edit my coordinates for this fourth wall opening. So here in my X, I'm going to alter the location of the wall opening. Here you can see if I move this wall opening back over by the door and it starts to intersect with it, the spreadsheet line items turn red. This is Risa Floor indicating that there is a conflict or overlap conflict between these openings that you need to fix. Once I fix those, they'll change back to the regular black. Now messing around with my other openings, I wanted to show what happens when I move our third opening, which is our second window here, and I'm going to enter in some values in the Y direction, and I'm really trying to get it to intersect with that diaphragm that you see there. And once I update that Y value to intersect, you'll see that that line item in my spreadsheet also turns red. So Risa Floor is going to update you on any errors related to opening overlaps, but also any overlaps that are happening because of the diaphragm or the wall panel edges. Like I was saying before, we can go ahead and use the spreadsheet tools we're already familiar with. So if I want to go ahead and delete that fourth opening at the bottom, I can click on that line and then right click using my mouse and here pulls up our delete this line item. And so by clicking that, that has now deleted that fourth opening. I can also do other spreadsheet tools, for example, clicking on my X column. Let's say I want to move all of my openings over to the right just one foot. So I can right click again, and this time I'm going to do math for the block. I'm going to make sure I do the add tool, and then I'm going to enter in one foot. And see now, all of my openings have moved over exactly one foot for easy operations. Also for the spreadsheet tools, I can also use a copy and paste feature. So by selecting all of my cells for the spreadsheet, I can choose right click and copy. And then I can click OK now that I'm done with this window. Now I'm going to open up my next corridor wall panel. Again, I'm going to delete those existing regions and I'm going to enter in a new line in my opening spreadsheet. And I'm going to right click and click paste. Now this has entered in all of my values that we had before for my openings. And again, we have this red line item that's showing a conflict. And that's because my third opening there, the header is actually overlapping the edge of the wall panel. So what I can go in here and do is just edit that X coordinate to move that wall panel over. And now, again, the values have turned back to black. Another added tool is this template library. So here in the template library, we can choose from the drop down here. Right now I have it set to none, but these are defaults that I already have entered into the library. So to clear out the openings that I have right now, I could actually choose no opening and choose apply and it clears out my openings. If I want to add additional templates, I can go to the template library. Again, you'll see the drop down with those existing default 
templates for the openings we have, or I can click add and I can enter in the name that I want to name this template. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this for my demo apartments wall. And here, I'm just going to enter a name here, and then I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to enter in a new line, just like we did with the copy and paste feature before, and paste those values that we used before. I'm going to click OK. And so now we've added a new template. So if I go now to the drop down, I can go to that new template I've added and click Apply. And now you can see my door and my two windows that I created from before have been added to this wall as a template. So I didn't have to redraw these walls multiple times, which comes in handy when we're doing these multi-story apartment building and wood projects. Now if I wanted to change the templates as well to one of the others, I can go down here and for example choose my default, one of my default 3x3s, and choose to override my existing openings and Risa Floor will now insert that new template into that file. I'm going to click OK. Now that we've gone and looked at editing the existing wall panels in our corridor, I want to look at editing my existing wall panels on the exterior side of the building, and I'm going to add in a new wall as well. So up here to add in templates, we added this new button up here. So instead of double clicking on our walls like we did before, we can click on this icon and then enter in a new template. And so for this opening template, I'm actually going to call this one similar to our last one, but I'm going to add an exterior and I'm going to click OK. Again, add in a new line and we're going to paste our information from previously, but this time instead of me having two window openings, I'm actually going to delete this third one so that I just have the door opening and then I have just one window. And that's going to be my new template for this exterior wall that I want to edit. Clicking OK, it takes me back to my floor plan view. And I can see now here on my exterior walls, I want to actually select only that exterior walls along this line. So I'm going to deselect all of my members here in Risa Floor, and I'm just going to select a few of these exterior walls that I want to apply this template to. So I can click to add these to my selection, but of course, you can use any of the Risa Floor selection tools here on the left hand side as well. So going into my wall panels tool up here in the toolbar, there's two options to draw wall panels and then we also have our modify wall panels as well. If I go to that modify down here towards the bottom, you see now we've added that opening template we saw. So I click that use because I want to modify this particular property and I'm going to choose my new template that I created down here at the bottom is also the choice to do it to only the selected members versus having to click each one. And I can click apply. So remember I said I also want to create a new wall panel with these wall panel opening templates. So back here in my floor plan view, let's say I wanted to create another wing from scratch. So I can do this with my opening wall panel template already assigned. So here in the draw wall panel tool, I can come here to my opening template, choose that exterior wall, and I'm going to click apply. And now I can draw in this new exterior wall that I want to add for my new wing that I'm drawing. Clicking exit out of there, I can go to my full 3D model view, Arisa floor, and I'm going to just rotate this over so that we can see the side that we edited those exterior wall panels. And so I'm going to zoom in here so you can see that a little better. But here we have that door opening and we have that single window opening that we added to several of those exterior wall panels. And also it was added to that new wall panel that we created. So pretty easy and pretty quick that we can now add and edit existing wall panels, but also we can draw in wall panels that already have our opening templates, which comes in really handy when we're doing a lot of these multi-story designs and apartments for this particular example where we repeat a lot of those configurations for those openings. At this point, we've completed editing our wall panel openings if you have any more questions or for any additional information you need regarding this tool, please visit our website, visa.com.